the President Bola Ahmed Tinubu and the Vice President Kashim Shetima have discredited the case made by the Labour Party and its presidential candidate Peter Obi against the outcome of the February 25th presidential elections, describing their arguments and witnesses' testimonies as worthless. Both the president and his vice made the environment through their legal team led by Wole Olani Bekun S.A.N. in their final written address against the petition of Mr. Pitobi before the presidential election petition court. Dismissing the petition as frivolous, the respondents poked holes in the testimonies of the various witnesses and asked the court to dismiss their testimonies as they were bigious and based on hearsay. President Bola Ahmed Tinibu has also told the presidential election petition court that seeking the nullification of his victory at the February 25th presidential elections are not only novel but not familiar with the country's electoral laws. He warned that nullifying the February 25th election that produced him as the president of Nigeria on account of the fact that he did not score 25% of the lawful votes cast during the election in the federal capital territory could lead to absurdity, chaos, anarchy, and authorization of the very intention of the legislatures. President Bola also submitted, and in his submissions, he stated that where contained in his final written address, Tinibu's submissions were contained in his final written address against two petitions pending at the Presidential Election Petition Court. The five-member panel had, on July, given the respondents in the two separate petitions 10 days to file their written address while the petitioners were given seven days to reply. The panel led by Justice Haruna Samani, gave the order shortly after Tinibu Shetima and the All Progressive Congress APC closed their defense in the two petitions, as it will be recalled that the Independent National Electoral Commission had closed its case a day earlier. Both Atiku and Obi, alongside their respective parties, had dragged the Independent National Electoral Commission before the Presidential Election Petition Court for declaring Tinibu and the APC winner of the presidential election. Amongst the reliefs they seek is the nullification of the Tinibu's election on the grounds that INEC did not substantially comply with the guidelines and regulations for the conduct of the 2023 general elections and relevant electoral laws. INEX chairman, Professor Mohamed Yakubu, had on March 1st returned Tinibu as the winner of the February 25th elections with 8,794,726 votes. While Atiku, Abubakar, and Pitobi, we are said to have scored 6,984,520 votes and 6,101,533 votes, respectively. Besides faulting the figures which they claimed were incorrect because the coalition's of results was still ongoing when Mumod returned Tinibu as the winner. The petitioners also claimed that President Bola Ahmed Tinibu cannot be said to have won the election, having not scored 25% of the lawful votes cast in the Federal Capital Territory. Besides, the two petitioners argued that 
Tinubu ought not to have been on the ballot because, because of an alleged United States District Court judgment that ordered his forfeiture of 460,000 US dollars suspected to be proceeds of drug trafficking. Another ground they are asking his disqualification is with regards to the alleged double nomination of Shetima, who, according to them, was already a senatorial candidate for the All Progressive Congress in the Bono Central Senatorial District election conducted the same day and time with the presidential pool. While Atiku, before closing his petition, called 27 witnesses, including INEX presiding officers and experts. Obi, on the other hand, called 13 witnesses and tendered a plethora of documents, including over 18,000 blood results sheets on which INEC based its declaration of Tinibu as the winner. Although the Independent National Electoral Commission, Tinibu and the All Progressive Congress had interrogated the validity of the witnesses and documents to the petitions and asked the court to discountenance them. However, Tinibu, Shetima and the All Progressive Congress in the individual written final address have asked the court to dismiss the two petitions because the grounds upon which they are built are not familiar with the country's electoral laws. The petition in issue in this address is very novel in the sense that it is not a petition strict to censor, familiar to our electoral jurisprudence, as the petitioners are not this time around complaining about election rigging, ballot box snatching, ballot box snuffing, stuffing, violence, toggery, vote buying, voters intimidation, disenfranchisement, interference by the military or the police and such other electoral vices. The crux of their groups this time around is that while the presidential election was peacefully conducted all over the country, as corroborated by their primary witnesses, and the results accurately recorded in the various forms EC8As, some unidentified results were not uploaded electronically to the INEC Election Result Viewing Portal, IRV. The other remote contentions of the petitioners is that the second respondent did not score 25% or one quarter of the votes recorded in the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja, while the petitioners have also alluded to the respondent's non-qualification without any fact known to law. Chief Wole Olani Bekwe SAN, Council to Tinibu had pointed out in the final reaching address dated July 14th. Both Atiku and Obi claimed Ainek breached Section 134 of the Constitution when he announced Tinibu, who did not score up to 25% of votes cast in the Federal Capital Territory in line with the law. Section 134 sub 2b of the Constitution provides that a candidate for an election to the office of the president shall be deemed to have deemed to have been duly elected where there have been more than two candidates for the election he has the highest number of votes cast at the election and he has not less than one quarter of the votes cast at the election each of at least two thirds of all the states in the federal capital territory of all the states in the federation and the federal capital territory abuja according to the independent national electoral commission results tinibu was only able to garner 19 percent of votes in the fct he however argued that it was erroneous for the petitioners to call for the nullification of the entire election based on the Federal Capital Territory Resorts.